Hi, it's Jeff, and welcome to another Sibelius 7 video. I'm going to call this one Q Notes Part 2. Here I have a score, and what I'd like to do is take this French horn part, and I'd like to put it up in my alto sax 1 and alto sax 2 part. The first thing we need to do is select our notes. So let's click here on the first note, press and hold shift, and then I do want both of these horn parts. So I'm going to click here while my shift key is down. And now I have a nice blue box there on everything. Control C to copy. And now I'll click once over here in my saxophone part. And I'm going to do Control V to paste. So I've been able to copy that over into my saxophone part, but those are not cue notes yet. I will click, once again, press and hold shift, and click again, and now I have that active. So we need to turn these into cue notes. If you saw my fourth video, I showed you how to create cue notes in your uh, notation types. So if you haven't seen that yet, head on over to the fourth video in my playlist here and be sure to check that out. Anyhow, if you've created the QNote note, note head style, go ahead and select it. Remember, this will make them both small and silent for your playback. I'm going to zoom in to give you a closer look at this. So you can see that we have our Q notes and we have dynamics. Now these dynamics though are not what we would call Q sized. So we need to do something about that. Also, we should probably put a note here to the saxophone players to tell them what cues these are. Click on one of these items and right click on it and we're going to go to inspector. I'll show you another way to get there. Click it once, control shift I, and now we have this inspector that comes up. Put a check mark in the box that says Q sized and look what happens. Now that text shrinks down and looks a lot better. Control shift I, do, the, do it again. I can even do it for my dynamics. Look how much better this is starting to look already. I can even do it for my crescendo and my decrescendo here. Check this out. So control shift I once again, and we just want to make sure we hit Q sized. This is just going to make these a little more subtle. I'll show you the comparison here. Right, so here are the ones on top that are Q-sized, and then these are the normal ones below it. So you can see kind of a difference there. And I'll do that for my second alto part as well. And there you have it. So now our text that tells our saxophone players that they're playing horn cues, as well as the dynamic of the cues, as well as the crescendo and decrescendo are now all cue sized. Remember to do this, we did a right click on each item, or you could do Control Shift I, Command Shift I on a Mac, and then you're able to adjust that. I've zoomed in and I'd like to show you a different way to make things cue sized that's a lot faster. So I'm going to click and control click everything I want to make cue sized. And now over on the keypad, I have this button I can use to instantly make everything cue sized. So 
if you like using the keypad, that's how you can do that. Rather than going in and using the inspector, you can use this Q size on slash off. Anyhow, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like and be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much and take care.